What's going on, fellas? What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be changing out the antifreeze or the uh, the coolant uh, out of the TE 450. Uh, what we have is we have some. Let's see if I can grab this right off the shelf. We got some some engine ice, and it's that time of the year. Um, and what we're going to be doing is just going over it once over. One of the other things I also did get is I got the Union uh, for the uh, Husqvarna. Uh, so this is the union that goes uh, between the uh, the uh, intake and the carburetor. Okay, well, that, I guess that is the intake. So that's another little project that uh, needs to be done on, on here. One of the other things that I wanted to do on, on this particular bike uh, on the TE450 is actually clean out the fuel injector. Uh, one of the things that it's been doing is it's been backfiring on me on deceleration. Um, I know that that union, I know that the union that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... It has some crack that's showing signs of weathering, uh, and it's just not in the greatest of shape. So, with that being said, let's get started, and we're going to start by draining the uh, the coolant, flushing the system, or getting as much of it out, and I'm going to be topping it up with some uh, engine ice antifreeze. Okay, so what I've done to prepare, instead of putting it on the center uh, stand, I've uh, put two drain buckets underneath. Uh, I've uh, put it up on a uh, on a stand on the back so that it's still pretty level. Let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, fellas, so once you've done draining everything and uh, you're satisfied that all the uh, all the old coolant and your flush is uh, out of it, you can go ahead and you can start buttoning up all of your uh, uh, all of your hoses that you disconnected to do the uh, the flush. Then we're gonna top it back up with uh, new coolant, and we should be good to go. Here we go.
That's all there is to it, fellas. Flushed, changed, new coolant, and now you're good to go.